Happening now, I-94 is dried out since this week's floods, but the troubles for drivers still not over. Right now, only one lane is open eastbound near Warren in Detroit due to damage caused by those high waters. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live on the scene. And Kim, how bad is it? You know what, I just spoke to MDOT spokesperson Diane Cross, and she says that's what MDOT is actually trying to figure out right now. If you take a look behind me, you can see that the right two lanes of I-94 eastbound are closed here at Warren in Detroit. It is a slow go for people trying to get home from work. The reason? The road is buckling. So right now, road inspectors, they are drilling into the soil under the interstate. They're going to look at that soil, and they're going to see if it's solid below the buckling. If it is, that's good news. That means that they simply have to replace the pavement that buckled. They can do that in hours by tonight. If it isn't, if they see a void in the soil sample, well, that means that those floods that covered the roadway might have compromised the soil, washed some away, and now there is a sinkhole risk. That could mean days of work. In the meantime, if you come on out here driving down I-94 eastbound at Warren, you are going to deal with lane closures. They don't think they're going to have to shut this down, just close some lanes. MDOT saying if you can avoid this area, maybe go northbound on the south field to east 96. That's one way to get around it. Otherwise, you are going to be dealing with delays. In the meantime, we are going to stay in touch with MDOT and find out what they find out when it comes to those soil samples and just how long this problem will continue. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.